Welcome to Bus Driver Life. My name is Kiwan. I am a bus driver. This is the bus that I'm driving today. That's why I'm here on this particular bus, because I'm driving this one today. Thanks, Captain Obvious. So I did a video about the rear door of the bus, and I figured I'd also make a video showing you in the driver's area how the bus driver controls the rear door. So as you can see, this is the door control handle right here, and we have three positions, closed, front, and front rear. So of course right now it's in the closed position, then you turn it here. And the front door just opened. And then if I turn it to front and rear, it will open the front door and it will unlock the rear door and also set an interlock brake. So even if the parking brake right here is not applied, it is right now, but even if this is not applied and the bus is still in drive, the bus will not move. And as you can see, the green light is on because I have it on front and rear. So this door is unlocked. And as I demonstrated before on this Gillick BRT Plus bus, you can just touch the door handle and the door will open. But a lot of times the driver will also open the rear door for you so you won't even have to touch the handle or push the door or stand in front of the door. But let me show you the switch that we use, at least here in the Sacramento area, to open the rear door from the driver's area. See this right here? It says rear door and it says open and close. When I touch open, it will make the rear door open. So here we go. I'm going to hit open. Oh, hi. How are you doing? Stop it. Get some help. So if I keep the rear door switch in the open position, once I use the door control here and put it on front and rear, 11, City College, Light Rail Station. both the front and the rear door will open automatically. And of course, once I switch it back to the closed position, both doors will close. Interestingly enough, since we're talking about the rear door of a transit bus, in New York, the New York MTA has instructed their bus operators to not open or unlock the rear doors because they are dealing with a high level of fare evasion. So that's really interesting. That does happen even here in Sacramento. Sometimes you have people jump through the back door when people are exiting and then once people exit, they'll jump through here and try and sit somewhere in the back and not pay. He ain't lying. Also, another quick note, if you are trying to exit through the rear door, you have to wait till the bus comes to a complete stop. I remember one time I was still driving. A person had, uh, this guy requested to stop. He's standing at the door, the rear door, standing there. As I'm driving, pulling up towards the stop, hadn't gotten there yet. He tells me, you need to open this mother effing door right now. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> the bus has to stop first. I'm not even at the bus stop. And he told me to go F myself. <laughs> And I'm like, that's not gonna allow the rear door to open if I were to sit in the driver's seat and do that, what he suggested. So that's what we're dealing with out here sometimes. Anyway, make sure you check out the channel memberships. You can support the channel that way. Also, check out the super thanks. It's kind of like a super chat when people go live, but you can actually send a super thanks on a regular video. But a free and effective way to help the channel out is to subscribe, like, and share. And thank you for watching Bus Driver Life.